What is up guys, Shumble Gaming here with yet another Jedi Survivor Achievement Guide. This time we're going to get the Growth Spurt Achievement, and that is for fully upgrading the garden on top of the cantina. The first thing we need is we need Pilly. She is in the Jada in the Blustery Mesa. You have to pass her along the main storyline during the second time you come to Jada, so... You, this is, I guess it is, miss, she is missable if you never talk to her, but you will come through here. So just make sure that you talk to Pilly to recruit her. We need her um, to work, basically work with her to upgrade the garden on top of the cantina. You don't have to do anything to recruit her. You just have, simply have to stop and talk with her, luckily. And once you do, you will get a little good tutorial and she will go back to the cantina. Now, what we need to upgrade the cantina is we need uh, seeds, of course. We need seeds to plant plants, believe it or not. Anytime you see plants with green, uh, basically, I don't know if they're like butterflies or whatever they are flying around. We basically just need to attack them with your lightsaber and you will get seeds. You don't need a crazy amount, but you do need, uh, I guess, a decent amount. And then when we get to the cantina, you will get a little tutorial about what is going on up here and how to do things, but it's all really basic. We just need to plant plants in the plot of dirt that is available. Once we plant all the seeds in there and they grow, uh, Pilly will basically upgrade the next set of plots and we just need to do this twice. We don't need to do it a third time. The third time she does it, the achievement will unlock before that. So luckily we only need to do this two times. So press down on the D-pad on Xbox or whatever the control is that you're using. And then basically what I recommend doing is just using all your large plants to fill in the uh, as much space as possible. Use your medium plants to fill in the rest and then use all the small plants you have to kind of fill in the little, I guess, stragglers. You just have to make sure that every single one of these little hexagons is filled. The, upgrade, the garden will not upgrade unless they are all full. And then I don't know how much time needs to pass, but go do a main story mission or do a little, a couple side quests and come back. And when you do come back, you will see that all of your plants are fully grown. Pilly will mention that she has now cleared out another plot of dirt for us to plant more seeds. This, it's actually two more plots now. Again, same process, just fill in all these hexagons, use your large plants, medium plants, and small plants. I'll show you um where i actually was missing some this time i i planted all the, the plants when i came back but yet the garden wasn't upgraded and it turned out that i was actually missing some there's a couple that are kind of hidden depending on which way your camera is facing i'll point those out in a second okay so the ones i was missing it, um is coming up right here right behind these i couldn't see them and it's like i said i planted them all i came back the garden was fully upgraded but yet she did not upgrade the garden it's because i was missing those ones you have to all every little hexagon has to be full i actually unlocked this achievement as i was fast traveling back to the cantina so i don't know if it just pops when you get close but after the second time you do that, you just need to return to the cantina and you can go up and you can check on your garden. Again, you don't need to plant the third plot to unlock the achievement. There is a map upgrade if you are interested in finding all the seeds. Um, hope this video was helpful. Appreciate it. Like and subscribe if it was and have a good day.